all right babes welcome back and let's get into this full look right here and let's get ready for fall okay so i'm gonna start off this look by using the 35o palette by morphe and i'm just taking the highlighting color right here and i'm just gonna basically just highlight my brow bone giving it a nice pop so when you see all the colors blended together the brows will still stand out i'm taking an orange shade from the palette right here and i'm gonna go in with this as kind of like my transitional shade so this is like the color that i want everything to transition in i like to blend in like circular motions as well as i like to go back and forth um guys don't be afraid to keep looking at your eye just to see how it looks from different angles Go close, go far away, just keep looking at your eyes so you can see how everything is coming out. Um, I will say one thing about this shade, I did pack it on I think two times. Now I'm going in with a deeper orange, more of a burnt shade and now I'm going to apply a more browner shade and like right on the crease to kind of give it like that smoky illusion and I'm just going to keep blending it all out. And I'm just focusing on where I'm placing the brown shade, just getting it to really show. So at one point, I was not going to do like a halo eye, but I'm kind of like, you know what? I'm going to do the halo eye. So doing a halo eye, you're going to take a darker shade and you're going to apply it in both the inner and the outer corner. Um, sorry if I wasn't able to show you every little step because I was out of focus for like some of the angles. So I'm, I apologize, guys. Sorry. But yeah, I'm just going to apply that chocolatey shade until I get the desired look I'm going for. And I'm using a smaller brush, something a little bit more tapered that will apply more product. So it should look something like this. I went ahead now and just added some concealer in the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of how I was adding the concealer. But basically, you're just going to add concealer in like the middle. And then now you're going to take your shadow after you set your concealer. And you're just going to kind of go back in with that deeper color just so it still shows. And you want a little bit of light. Basically, concealer in the middle. And that's where you would add your pop of color. Now I'm going in with more of a brighter orange and I'm just going to go over everything because I felt like I was kind of losing that orange touch that I wanted to keep and it was starting to look like a little bit too much of like a chocolate smoky so I wanted to go back in with the orange and just have that orange look. Now in the palette I'm taking a copper shade. I did go ahead and wet the brush just a little bit and I'm going to apply that right in the middle of my eye where we put the concealer. So you have your chalk, your um, your chopper. You have your copper shade, and you're just gonna apply it in the middle until you get the desired amount of pigment that you're going for. Yeah, hey guys, just take your time, keep packing it in. I am using a more small shadow brush just to do this stuff. And now I'm going to go back in with that chocolate shade and I'm just going to kind of go over the copper just a little bit. So everything looks like it's nice and diffused and it's transitions really well. And like I said, the palette I am using for this whole entire look is the Morphe 35O. I thought it was only appropriate to use this palette for cool. So now in the palette, they have more of like a champagne color. I'm going to add just a little bit over the copper color just to bring some light back to the eye. And it looks like this. I love it. So now what we're going to do is smoke out our bottom lash line with that chocolatey color that we used before. And we are just going to really just sit here and use a small brush and just smoke it out. If you know me, you know I say this all the time. I love a smoky eye. This will forever be my jam until I get probably a lot more older. But for now, this is like my go-to style. And now I took it upon myself to just go in with a deeper brow, just to really give it that smoky, that grungy look. And I'm going to just take my time and blend it out. Of course, when I'm doing a dramatic eye, no look would be complete without that black borderline. I will say be conscious of your eye shape. If your eyes are a little bit smaller, I probably would not do um, the black borderline. Maybe I would do like a beige, but for me, 
I want it super smoky, so I said black. Or you could honestly, if you still want to keep it smoky and you don't want to go with the beige to open up the eye, you could do like a brown. And now I'm just spraying myself, and that is it, guys. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Like Goya, G-Wagon, or the Rover I put some ice on you cause